So, am I free to go? Well, I'm afraid we need to hold on to you for a little longer. You can't be serious. You've spoken with this boy, Mikey. Yes, I have met with Michael Bancroft. Then you'll know that he is an overprivileged, entitled brat who seems to think that violating a girl's privacy is something you should be proud of. I don't disagree with that assessment. Finally, you're talking sense. But I also met with Clark Brimecroft QC, his father, and he has rather a lot of sway, legally speaking. And he's very upset that you've hurt his precious son. He didn't show the slightest bit of remorse. He openly shamed my sister and her partner in public, knowing they were victims. That is disgusting behaviour, but it's not technically against the law. Unlike common assault. Look, look I, I hate that I got violent. Mikey is a nasty piece of work, but I know better than anyone that physical abuse isn't the answer. It's just the thought of perverts like him watching Juliet. Look, I get it. I do. But right now, I also have to deal with the fact that you have broken the law. So unless the charges are dropped, it can't go unpunished. We have on file. Yeah, I'm talking to Nancy about the restructure at lunchtime. And I could do with a replacement by then. Hey! Hey, half my year nines think that Shakespeare wrote Jane Eyre. I, I wouldn't mind, but we've been reading it all term. Please tell me your lot are doing better. Hardly. And then it's not going to matter for much longer because I'm being sacked. Say what now? I just heard Sally saying that she's going to speak to me at lunchtime about a restructure. I can't lose my job, John Paul. It's my life. Calm down. Right. Deep breaths. I'm sure it's not what you think. She literally just asked for CVs for my replacement. I say that was pretty conclusive. John, I'm not going to hang around waiting for Sally to deign to speak to me. Please don't do anything stupid. I've had the week from hell, so if she's going to get rid of me, she's going to do it on my terms when I say so, which is right now. Nancy! Nance! Sally! Nancy, shouldn't you be in registration? Well, probably, but if I'm going to lose my job, I'd rather you told me now so I can get home and watch some daytime telly. Losing your job? Can I state for the record, I have served this school faithfully for the last seven years. I spearheaded a campaign against drugs in school. All right, fine, one of the ringleaders turned out to be my kid, but I didn't know that at the time, and I did try, I really did. I go above and beyond. In fact, I'm the one that stepped up when you got sent to prison. <sighs> Which you probably don't want reminding about. No, it's just really... No, let me say this. I love my job, I love my colleagues, I love the kids. What? It's a 60-40 split. The ones that mix up Charlotte Bronte and William Shakespeare, they just, mm, but that is beside the point. I am an excellent teacher, and quite frankly, if you don't recognise that, then you don't deserve me anyway. I know I don't. Nancy, I am well aware of everything you've done for this school. And yes, everything that you've done for me too. Which is why I want you to become a new core deputy head with John Paul. Try and stop you. You're not being sacked, Nancy. You're being promoted. Oh. Huh. Hmm? So not only is it a promotion, I also get to share it with my best friend. It's giving me all the boring jobs. Exactly. But we would be equals, and there is a significant pay increase. Well, when you start off with that? <laughs> yeah, I finally feel like things are going right for this film. Hmm. After everything we've been through, I'd say we've earned it. Hmm. I mean, look at those two. Sometimes I forget how young they really are. Hmm. Wait. You thought you was pregnant? For like five minutes. But it got me thinking, maybe a baby's not such a bad idea. Oh, took you long enough to get me out. Sorry. I've been hammering out a settlement with Mikey's dad and his legal team all day. Convincing them to drop the charges. So what we're looking at? He's taking no further action against you. Well, you are good. Yeah, but there's a catch. He's threatened to blacklist D-Valley Law, including Sammy and I, unless we buy you out of the firm. <laughs> That's ridiculous. 
I'm a senior partner. Who does he think he is? Yeah, but he's a powerful man, James. We need him on side if the firm's going to survive. I don't have a choice. Wait, what do you say? I'm sorry, James, but you can't be part of the Valley Law anymore. <sighs> Time for you to get cleaning. Hmm. I did the cooking, so you do the cleaning. That was the deal. You heat it up in the microwave. Do you know how hard it is to sort the timings out on a microwave meal of this size and calibre? Would you like a parade? <laughs> anyway, I don't have time tonight. I have to prep. Sally has set up an interview with the school board for tomorrow morning, so... Well, you'll smash it. Like I said, this family can handle anything. I mean, <laughs> this is nothing short of a coup. And believe me, there will be consequences. Just call me back, Sally. What could be more important to you than my future legal career?